This video is part of an audiobook series featuring American legal history, a very short introduction by G. Edward White. For more audiobooks, please visit my YouTube channel or my website for downloads. Introduction Law has played a central role in American history. Legal ideas and issues were paramount in the decision of the colonies in North America to secede from the British Empire. Law facilitated the marginalization of American Indian tribes and the accompanying expansion of territory and settlement that marked the emergence of the United States as a major power in the 19th century. The inability of the existing branches of government and of the major political parties to find an enduring legal solution to the problem of African-American slavery helped pre precipitate the Civil War. The Supreme Court and its interpretations of the U.S. Constitution in cases affecting interstate commerce, international treaties, civil rights, race relations, and intimate same-sex relationships have directly affected the lives of countless American citizens. To review the course of American legal history is to confront defining issues in the development of the American civilization. In addition, law permeates almost every facet of American life. The governmental institutions of the U.S. are undergirded by law. Law regulates our elected and appointed officials, from the President of the United States to police assigned to traffic duties. Law determines the qualifications for American citizenship and who is eligible to enter the United States. The basic transactions that compose people's lives, like marriage, divorce, home and car ownership, entering and leaving public schools, these are all regulated by law. Moreover, law is an aspirational force in American society. We are said to live under, quote-unquote, a rule of law, quote, end quote, which means that Americans expect the settlement of disputes to be peacefully resolved through the process of legal institutions, rather than resolved by power or force. Americans also expect individual citizens to be treated equally and fairly by the legal system, although historically that, that was not often the case, and few would claim that current legal institutions have done a good job in redressing inequalities and injustices. Nonetheless, most Americans believe that they have the right to appeal to the legal system to respond to personal grievances, and that the system is designed to ensure fairness and justice for ordinary citizens. Because law is so pervasive in every dimension of American life, its history is particularly important. In that history, one becomes introduced to the central defining themes of American culture, geographic isolation, economic abundance, transatlantic settlement, the relations between European settlers and indigenous tribes, African American slavery, the importance of agricultural householding, the growth of industrial enterprise and urbanization, and the emergence of the United States as a world superpower. In reviewing that history, one becomes aware that law has been intimately connected to each of those themes, reacting to them and helping to shape them. To study American legal history is to come in contact with the forces that have given the U.S. a rise to its unique identity. The subject of American legal history is sufficiently diverse and vast as to preclude including all of its topics in this book. I have therefore limited myself primarily to domestic legal issues and private law themes. I have emphasized common law judicial decisions and legislation more than constitutional developments. And, through the book, I have sought to focus on topics and issues that are connected to central themes in American history. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and visit my channel for more exciting content.